Before farmers tilled the soil or cities rose from stone, Europe belonged to hunter-gatherers, the continent's first people. For tens of thousands of years, they roamed Ice Age forests, hunted mammoths, and survived cataclysms that wiped out entire species. Yet, for centuries, their story was lost, buried beneath layers of civilization and myth. Now, science is peeling back those layers. Through ancient DNA, we can finally trace their bloodlines, uncover their migrations, and see how much of them still lives within us. This is not just archaeology, it's a resurrection. The rediscovery of Europe's forgotten humans. Around 20,000 years ago, during the last glacial maximum, Europe was a frozen wilderness. Vast glaciers covered the north, pushing humans into small refuges at the edges of survival. The Iberian Peninsula, the Balkans, and the Ukrainian Plains. These regions became sanctuaries where scattered groups of hunter-gatherers endured the Ice Age's brutal cold, preserving the genetic seeds of future Europe. As the ice began to retreat around 12,000 years ago, these resilient bands expanded northward, recolonizing the empty landscapes of Europe. Forests replaced tundra, rivers teemed with life, and humans followed, carrying with them the DNA that would shape the continent's genetic map. Archaeological sites like Grat Dubichon in Switzerland, Dalmi Vestinus in Czechia, and El Myron in Spain record this great repopulation. These Ice Age survivors weren't a single people, but a network of regional cultures adapting to harsh and shifting climates. They developed advanced stone tools, art, and burial practices, hints of symbolic thought and shared identity. Yet despite their sophistication, they left behind only faint traces bones, tools, and now fragments of DNA preserved in ancient remains. From those fragments, scientists have reconstructed a forgotten lineage, the founding Europeans, whose descendants carried their genes across the continent. Long before agriculture, kingdoms, or written language, Europe's destiny was being written in the genetic code of its hunters. Genetic studies have revealed that Europe's ancient hunter-gatherers belonged to three major lineages each representing a chapter in deep prehistory. The Western hunter-gatherers, WHG, emerged from Ice Age refuges in Iberia and Western Europe. Their DNA spread across the continent after the glaciers melted, reaching as far north as Britain and Scandinavia. The Eastern hunter-gatherers, EHG, arose from the plains of the Volga and the Baltic, carrying genetic influence from both native Europeans and Siberian populations. They were the forerunners of later steppe cultures that would transform Eurasia. In between stood the Scandinavian hunter-gatherers, SHG, a genetic hybrid born from the meeting of Western and Eastern groups as they converged in post-glacial Scandinavia. Each clade carried distinct adaptations. WHG were dark-skinned and blue-eyed, EHG lighter-skinned and tall, SHG a blend of both. Their movements and mixtures form the genetic backbone of Europe, a continent born from convergence rather than isolation. Around 9,000 years ago, a revolutionary wave swept into Europe, the Neolithic farmers from Anatolia. They brought with them domesticated plants, animals, polished tools, and a new way of life that would forever alter the continent. These early agriculturalists spread slowly, moving along river valleys and coastlines, transforming forests into fields. For the hunter-gatherers who had ruled Europe for millennia, it was a moment of collision. Genetic and archaeological evidence shows the meeting of two worlds, small, mobile forager bands confronted by settled farming villages. At first, contact was limited, often marked by tension or avoidance. But over centuries, the two populations began to intermix, producing hybrid communities that merged hunting traditions with agricultural technology. DNA from Neolithic burial sites reveals the complexity of this transition. Farmers from Anatolia carried genes for lighter skin and lactose intolerance, while hunter-gatherers contributed variants for immunity and adaptation to northern climates. Their children inherited both, creating the genetic foundation of modern Europeans. By 4000 BCE, hunting had largely vanished as a primary way of life, Yet the DNA of those Ice Age survivors endured. Farming may have conquered the land, but the hunter's blood still flowed beneath it. Today, every European genome carries traces of that ancient encounter, 
a reminder that progress was not replacement, but fusion. In the last decade, genome sequencing has transformed our understanding of Europe's deep past. Studies published in Nature, Science, and by the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology have mapped the DNA of hundreds of prehistoric skeletons, from Iberia to the Baltic. The results are stunning. Modern Europeans retain 10 to 20 percent of their ancestry from Ice Age hunter-gatherers, despite thousands of years of migration and cultural upheaval. This continuity proves that Europe's original inhabitants were never truly erased, only absorbed and reshaped. Case studies bring them vividly to life. Cheddar Man from Britain, circa 7100 BCE, had dark skin, blue eyes, and pure hunter-gatherer genetics. Loshbore Man from Luxembourg reveals the same lineage, tough, resilient, and enduring. In Scandinavia, Motala Man represents the mixed heritage of northern foragers and early farmers. Together, their genomes tell one story. Beneath Europe's civilizations lies a single ancient heartbeat, the DNA of its first people. Though the hunter-gatherers vanished as distinct peoples, their biology endures in modern Europeans. Geneticists have traced many physical traits directly to them, from blue and green eye colors to darker early skin pigmentation that gradually lightened through adaptation to northern climates. Variants affecting metabolism and fat storage, once essential for surviving Ice Age winters and food scarcity, still influence how our bodies process diet and energy today. Their DNA also shaped how Europeans adapted to sunlight and nutrition. Genes affecting vitamin D synthesis, skin response to UV radiation, and even tolerance to cold reflect environmental pressures faced by ancient foragers. But the legacy goes deeper than biology. It touches psychology. Modern studies in behavioral genetics suggest inherited tendencies toward risk-taking, endurance, and solitude. Echoes of a life spent navigating wild landscapes and long winters. In a sense, Europe's hunter-gatherers never disappeared. They evolved within us. Every modern European carries fragments of their survival code, traits forged by necessity, endurance, and adaptation. Their genetic whispers still shape how we live, think, and persist in an ever-changing world. The hunter-gatherer legacy is not evenly spread across Europe. In Northern Europe, particularly in Scandinavia and the Baltic, Ancient DNA studies reveal the highest retention of hunter-gatherer ancestry, in some regions exceeding 30%. Harsh climates and sparse early farming allowed these populations to preserve much of their Ice Age genetic makeup. In contrast, Southern Europe saw heavy dilution. Successive waves of Anatolian farmers and later Bronze Age Indo-European migrations layered new genes over ancient ones reducing pure hunter-gatherer ancestry to under 10% in places like Greece and Italy. Yet even here, local populations retained elements of the old genome, resilience traits and pigmentation variants that proved useful. Eastern Europe became a crossroads. Here, Easter hunter-gatherer DNA mingled with steppe pastoralist lineages, producing the mixed ancestry seen in modern Slavic and Baltic peoples. The result is a patchwork, each region a unique balance of Ice Age, Neolithic, and steppe roots. Today, this uneven genetic survival explains subtle differences in physiology, disease resistance, and even adaptation to light and climate. Across Europe's diversity, one ancient thread remains constant, the enduring imprint of its first inhabitants. Modern Europeans are not the descendants of a single ancient population, but a mosaic of survivors the product of Ice Age hunter-gatherers, Neolithic farmers, and steppe migrants. Yet beneath those layers, the oldest foundation endures, the DNA of Europe's first humans. Their genetic legacy lies hidden in our cells, influencing everything from metabolism to mood. Long after their camps turned to dust and their languages vanished, the hunter's code persists, a biological memory of adaptation, endurance, and curiosity. Ancient DNA has not only revealed where we come from, but redefined what it means to be European. Civilization did not erase the wilderness. It was built upon it. As scientists continue to decode the past, one truth grows clearer. The story of Europe is not only the rise of cities and empires, but the survival of those who came before them. 
the Ice Age hunters still walk among us, in our blood, our traits, and our instincts. The DNA of Europe's first humans still flows in our veins, a silent memory of a wilder continent.